and welcome to Hello Africa, the Monday edition where we bring you interesting packages ranging from information around the globe, what's happening, what's buzzing in the entertainment scene, of course, and also politics. And I'm not doing the show alone. My name is Nita. I've got this gentleman with me, Faith and BC. How are you all doing? Well, fine. Whatever made your weekend quite interesting for you to have called us gentlemen today, I wish it will continue. Notice, notice <laughs> wow, me. such a change. Honestly. All right, my name is Favor. I uh, thanks for joining us on the show. Of course, like I always say, I like to be called favorite. Yeah. Okay, we'll just move straight up to what is happening in the world. And the first news is seven people die in chaos near Kabul airport. And this is really sad. I, I actually saw a clip from this. It's scary and I'm just thinking to myself, come on. Ah, it's such a sad one anyways. It's really a sad one. The, okay. Let's hear. Well, the thing is, um, right now we can't even pinpoint what the what cause of death yes. is, whether it's um, suffocation, stampede, or uh, gunshot. Gunshot. Yeah. Exactly. But then, when you have people who are panicking, like they're yeah, panicking, scared and all that, people, and this is the only functional airport where they can get evacuated, they mm. understand that chaos is bound to happen. Yeah. This of kind course. of things are bound to happen. And of course, uh, continuing with the story, I think there was one part where. Um, one of the Taliban leaders said that they are looking forward to having good relations with the United States. Mm. And that what the United States is doing, evacuating people from their country. Afghanistan, is, yeah. Is some sort of, is, I think the word he uses is unfair or something like that. Well, life then, is not fair. Let's <laughs> move on to the next let's, story. Let's <laughs> All right, this one says, Dr. Strike, federal government to commence implementation of MOU with NMA. That's a... Um, Nigeria Medical uh, Association. Nigeria Medical Association. So, apparently, um, the Nigeria Medical Association and um, doctors across caught across Nigeria took a, a break on. Um, not so sure about the date, but yeah, a couple of uh, yeah, a couple of weeks. August, they're about first week of August, and they've been on strike ever since then, and um, it's been one meeting to the other, planning and trying to see how they are. Um, debts will be offset and um, the federal government will meet their demands with payments and allocations to doctors. I think the last time we talked about this, yeah, we, we talked do. about their, um, their extra payment. There's a, there's a name we gave it. So there's, an, there's a payment that they were supposed to receive for. The areas. Yeah, the areas, not just the yeah, areas. Allowances. Allowances, and stuff. exactly. Yes, areas. we mentioned so, that. Mm -hmm. So subsequently, I think if the federal government has finally come to... Um, they are still working towards getting, yeah. you know, words out there and doing what, you know, the yeah. doctors are demanding. Yeah. Basically, because... It's a step forward. It's, it's a, a step, step forward. forward. From dialogue and negotiations to now they're saying actually implement, implement exactly. I the wish them all the best, yes. Yeah. Let's hope they just do that this So time. that at least um, they can be back... Saving yeah. lives as usual. Okay, and this one says COVID 19 soars as NCDC records 1,064 new cases and 13 deaths. So please, guys, still use your sanitizers, mm -hmm. still wear your face masks, and uh, even if you are vaccinated, as in you've taken both shots, still keep a safe distance. Yeah, talking about both shots, I saw a clip from uh, Mike Okri, the legend. Mm -hmm. um, he posted a video of him being, you know, uh, positive to the virus because he was meant to go back to his base in the U.S. Okay. So he went through, you the know, another test. test. Okay. Yes. And he was confirmed positive. And he said he's taking two shots, like you mentioned. And I'm just thinking to myself, okay, what's the point? If you're taking the vaccine and you're still prone to, you know, the pandemic. The Delta variant or it's he just... He actually the, said uh, it's COVID-19. So it's not even, you know... Delta variant. That means there's a problem. It's still the COVID. It's still the COVID. It's still the COVID. It's still the COVID. So it's probably. Another, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, so another it's name. A, no, not just another. It's another. Um, it's like another. Yeah, okay. another species of the virus. Of the virus. Yeah, I think yeah. It's, it's actually. I think they said it's even um, worse than the A worse, uh, yeah, virus. with worse conditions and all that. Let's just watch it out there, people. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try to be safe. And this other one says, please arrest suspected IPOP. ESN spy girl 
Yeah, the Mary, name of yeah. um, Gloria O'Coli. Gloria yeah. O'Coli. It was revealed that, uh, yeah, she's 22 years old, a female suspect. So young. Very young. Very young. If what, if what the investigation reveals is true, aside from being young, she's, I mean, <laughs> she's very bold. Mm. She <laughs> so is. So I've taken all mm -hmm. these crazy steps, yeah, really. They said, said that she worked closely with one Benjamin Uzoma Emojiri, a.k.a. Onye Army, one of the mm. ESN commanders that was declared wanted by the police for his lead roles in planning and attack, mm. the attacks on Imo State Command okay. police headquarters. But I do not know what he said for sure mm. to have cajoled or coerced or convinced her the little girl. Mm. You know, to join in this, I will not call it, it's not even a revolution. I don't know what this is, this mm. type of ESN thing. Mm. Anyways. <laughs> Okay, this is some kind of good news to, you know, Kaduna State. Oh, yeah, the, the news says 15 more abducted um, Bethel school students regain freedom, okay? The last time it was 20 and now 15. And Can we they, still have 60 And we still have about 65 of them. Okay, 65. Yeah, 65 of them. Now, question is, why is, why is it in... In bids. Yeah, are they paying them? Are they, are they coming to terms with them and then after payment uh, they release them? This is them. inconclusive if you ask me. Yeah, we, anyway, we're happy for the families, okay? Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, definitely. you've missed yeah. your yeah. loved yeah. ones yeah. exactly. Getting, you know, um, united after a very long time and they have been in a condition that, you know, you don't wish your enemy to be mm -hmm. in. So congratulations to the freed uh, is it uh, 15. 15, okay, yeah. 15 yeah. students. We pray others Better. too will regain their freedom pretty soon. Okay, let's move on. And this says APC. Mm -hmm. APC using EFCC to hound opposition. This dissenting voices says PDP. All right, so the PDP, uh, the opposition party, <laughs> <laughs> politics is it's it's just politics so it, because politics. i mean it's a two i mean it's I two mean, different party pdp apc, APC so you don't expect them to come to agreement so i'm always going to protect my own interests and the other person will be like i'm mm. the enemy so I mean, it happens coming really really close it's obvious mm. um, news like this will breaking out Back and yeah forth. because so, everyone's planning and exactly, making everybody's planning a way to you know um, secure the interest of people that will vote you know, their own voters and they, mm -hmm. one to control mm -hmm. them. they get to that 2023 20, seat but for what for what it's worth uh i don't know if it i think it's also this is also i would say this is also inconclusive because there's no facts <laughs> and figures no for real there's yeah. no facts and figures to point that okay as this is happening this is actually i mean by apc mm. do you understand yeah. but then if a efcc is coming after your members you should, yeah. you should ask your members this question mm -hmm. why are they coming after you Mm -hmm. As in, how what, what are we exactly doing? is going on? Exactly, we know what EFCC is after. Okay, and this one says, Buha okay, let me be civil, okay? Uh, the president of Nigeria, His Excellency mm. Muhammad Buhari, okay? Uh, the, he says he's acting like Roman Emperor Nero, um, failed to deliver campaign promises. Mm -hmm. He's still the president, so the president. you don't just call him Buhari like, you know. <laughs> mm, we're waiting because basically his campaign and um, uh, movement really with his party, uh, we we will be just look forward because we've waited. Okay, we still have one year. Yeah, we have. We have okay, we have, so probably yeah. he's still working so hard to get that part done because he has one year. So a lot can be done within six months. He did a Nigeria. lot, actually. <laughs> a lot of things has happened recently. A lot of things have happened. A lot of okay. things have happened. <laughs> All right, let's move on. And this one says... Greece finishes war on border with Turkey amid fears of Afghan migrant crisis. Oh. Let me understand something. Hmm. Did they build a wall up? They did, the just like when, um, you know, uh, the former president of, you know, uh, America was talking about building the wall against, you know, uh, Mexico and stuff like that. So well, I don't blame them. I mean, but Greece, it's looking really beautiful. I like what I'm seeing, though. Uh, I mean, well, Greece, Greece has been at the center of Europe's uh, migrant crisis mm -hmm. in 2010, when millions of refugees from Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq has traveled to okay. Greece like that. And then, you know, when a country is not prepared to post refugees mm. it takes a toll on their economy it takes yeah. a toll on their security it does and it, it does a lot of other things i mean there's health issues absolutely the pandemic like this. yes how many people are vaccinated how many people are not vaccinated who are the high risks getting like, all mixed up data. and all that so, yeah you know, i think they, they decided you know instead of just repeating what happened in 2010 mm. let's just count down let's do this war 
so at least we can. But the Afghanistan can actually blow this if they want to, if they want to penetrate in this very country. I'm, I'm still talking mm. on the positive side. <laughs> okay. Hold on. So let's, okay. let's try and um, scrutinize people coming in. Mm -hmm. okay, I think scrutinize is the wrong word, but mm. let's try and uh, control Check. the yes. rate that people and um, refugees coming into yeah. Greece so they can have adequate data and provide adequately for them. So I think um, it's, it's a smart thing to do. Okay, and we will take a quick break and when we return, the show continues. This is Hello Africa. Stay tuned. Welcome back. It's still Hello Africa brought to you by Black Drum TV. My name is Favor Aya. I like to be called Favorite. Of course, we're bringing you the top stories. I'm not doing this alone. I have BC Bellumi and Nita in the house. And of course, we'll dive back to our top stories where we bring you um, stories cut across the world and just give you updates. So next up, our story is this headline says Zambia's opposition leader wins landslide election as young people turn out in huge numbers. Mm. Congratulations, that Zambia. Last that, last uh, that last bit is, is everything. Yes. It's, it's very inter that, interesting. That, that, was, uh, that was it for me. I mean, the third time transit, I mean, the transition of power. Mm -hmm. yes. Zambia, peaceful transition of power. And I like how, <clears throat> excuse me, this landslide victory mm -hmm. was attributed to the support actions of, of the youth in that country. Okay. So I hope um, the youth gets to that level where mm -hmm. new press, I mean, incumbent presidents or okay. elected presidents get all the support, support from the youth. Amazing. Right. Not just the bots, uh, yes. votes and whatever. Mm. Okay. Um, we talked about <laughs> Afghanistan. We still have another story coming from there. A uh, woman gives birth on U.S. evacuation plane, okay, an Afghanistan woman. Congratulations. Mm. Well, okay, they're like, trying to rescue her um, away from, you know, the war front and everything. And boom, the baby says, Mama, I can wait. That baby. Is I, mean, I, I was, I'm just thinking time. about the name they're going to name the baby. Time. <laughs> time. Is a superhero. That would be time. It's, it's entrance. Uh -huh. it, it was supposed to come, you know. Uh -huh. Afghanistan, right? Um, the gunshots, the chaos, we will say, no, let me be a let's US, take, you know. Take, let's take yeah. Let's take let's move. But I think this is one good news for mm -hmm. the whole negativity yeah, that's yeah. happening between yeah. you know, Taliban and Afghanistan. Okay. Okay. The question now is, what? Hey, you know, do I do <laughs> um, yeah. space, no, maybe Nigeria. aliens. In Nigeria. <laughs> Maybe he's a, a you know yeah, citizen of mass US, or something. Yeah, of course he'll Obviously. become an American citizen. Okay, and this is entertainment news. Not loves me. Naira Mali reacts as song plays at the president's son. We know he got married. Okay, uh, President Muhammad Buhari's son Yusuf. Uh, wedding was on Saturday. Everybody talking about it back to back and everything. Mm -hmm. So Naira Mali, the Malian master, like they call him, <laughs> he was like, the not people, they like me. They, no, they love him. <laughs> you know, for, for, for him, well, he always has his say on things, but I think he's just trying to make a joke because people will come at him, at him every time for his vulgar, uh, um, words and lines, music, yeah, exactly. his kind of music. But 
you know, he's always, he's always standing out to tell people, you come at my music and yet you stream my music. Because, he yeah, he says those kind of things a lot. So I'm not surprised he came out with this. And then for me, I feel like the story, the wedding ceremony is really buzzing because it is. I, saw, I, saw, I saw a video on, on um, social media that had clips of... Um, airplanes, private jets mm -hmm. that were parked. Yes, in. please. And they I said they were it. all hired, okay, yeah. by some of our politicians. Very, very... Oh, congratulations, you see. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations. And they don't come cheap. I, I think I would Those hiring of, you know, <laughs> private jets I don't think, come I think cheap. We should, we should hire one. <laughs> we, what? We should hire one. You want to go where? I'm thinking Greece. Of all places, mm -hmm. because you want to go take a look at the yeah. new wall new or something. Wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something from that wall would make sense. Let's just oh move on. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. And this right. other one says Tem gets gift from Kenyan comedian for being an inspiration, of course. Fans are showing love and giving all the love they can give to their very iconic um, artists. And and Thames just happened to get this love. Uh, today happens to be her turn. I do hope I also get such love sometimes. She is and beautiful. Yeah, she is. See, I do hope I get it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, let's talk about Castle and Castle returns for second season on Netflix. Interesting. I really do like that story because, um, of course, Castle and Castle happens to be one of the series that has chosen to... The, the, the entire teamwork and production has just stood the test of time. Yeah. The, the whole content comes out really clean mm. and they just took us from the regular storyline you get to see in the, the recycling of stories yeah, so and the all recycling, that. But this time around, this one has like an entirely chains. different approach to the to industry. Life, yeah. And then when you watch drama, you would enjoy drama. But this one, this one is completely different. This one has everything. They paid him for this advert, right? As, as in the way he's just, I'm, I'm just trying to get no, I'm this. I'm just telling like, you guys. They paid you for this advert. Yeah, of okay. course, for us <laughs> to <laughs> talk about the news, it means... Let's for me. Any movie RMD is in, I'm seeing it. Yeah, yes. of course. So yes. it has lots of He's very amazing. Um, He's the dawn, and we have a whole lot of you know mm -hmm. wonderful cast in that very movie. Oh, yeah. uh, it's a serial, a series rather. Okay, we have this one, and it's from the gospel singer. Gospel singer Etolina. I hope I pronounced that properly. To launch debut album in October. Congratulations. Mm. Okay. You know, you Wish you the very best. Mm -hmm. Wish you the very best. And of course, this one says, Ara Star says, Jin's um, lifestyle is inspiring. <laughs> okay. Ara Star seems to be, she, she also belongs to the Gen Z, so she would always talk oh. about them. So oh, okay. the Gen Zs are, are having it this time around because okay. every one of them is, look at uh, Rema and his kind of songs. Rema. But I think, what exactly does she mean by is inspiring? Because Anyway, for me, the Gen Z isn't... Anything can inspire a singer. Anything can inspire... Anything can inspire yes. a singer. But when she specifically came out to talk about the Gen Zs and... She said she mentioned that it's their lifestyle. Their mm. lifestyle is inspiring. That's what she said. She said yeah. their lifestyle yeah, is inspiring. It's more and of their lifestyle. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, girl. So part of we their need more, you know, info, okay? Yeah. Especially the gentleman with me in the yeah, studio. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, please. Okay, this one says, Nini's handler debunks marriage rumors after... Okay, Nini's social media handler, I guess, mm -hmm. debunks marriage rumors after photos of her in a wedding gown hit online. I mean... She can be a model. I can model, model. Um, wedding dresses, okay? Um, I used to sell, you know, bridal stuff. So okay. sometimes I wear my wedding dresses to show you. Yes, I do that. Yeah, okay, so it has to. nothing to do with maybe you're married and stuff. Because getting married is a beautiful thing. We look forward to seeing a, a picture scandal of you saying you're married. Why would you use scandal? No, of course, like this one, they said debunked rumors. We might just have room. Okay, rumors, sorry. <laughs> There's not going to be rumors, so don't even for me, think about it. I've got to that point where once I see a celeb person wedding gowns or pictures, doesn't, me, I mean, I'm not putting my mind that they're married. 
Mm. Mm. I'm not okay, that. even if there's a man. On the that, okay, yes, they got right. married. Because yeah, I don't know if you see a lot of. Lot some of, of them movies. are brand ambassadors. Oh, well. And, and some of them, them might be playing roles. Yeah. Mm. Some and sometimes it might man. just be her birthday and she feels, hmm? this is what I want to. Yes. I've down. seen I've seen series. Is it because show. it's white? Sometimes you even have different colors. Okay. No, it's wedding gown. You wedding gown. Wedding gown. We have bridal dresses, right? That for people bed, use. Bed, for this it also okay. is a bridal dress, BC. Okay, right. so she has stated that you know she didn't get married. So let's move on. Mm. Size is it Sasuke cries uncontrollably um, over J. Paul's nomination by Maria. Maria again. Okay, <laughs> that's BB um, Niger updates. Anyways. When we get to BB Ninja updates, I guess we'll just take those stories, right? So, um, we'll be, what, what, what? Okay, let's keep taking it. Okay, the next one says Perry, Perry, okay, Perry. Yeah. And Maria tried to define the relationship they actually have. How they define it successfully? Perry and. General, General. <laughs> yeah, they are always. The instructions she was giving out when she became head of house. Are you are you, are you even talking about her? What about the Perry? That's what I'm saying. Like, how would you do? What, what's, what's, what's the definition? They are good them? match. I think it's a military. They are perfect match for each other. Ooh. They love themselves. They just That's don't just, want to tell us what they love they themselves. That means she's going to start wish, playing games. I wish that she didn't fall in love with Perry. Wish she fell in love with someone else. Probably. Like white money? No, not no. necessarily. I don't white money likes queen. Else. Okay. And of course, the man of the moment, we just called his name. White money is the kind of man I am looking for. Jackie B opens up. Mm, interesting. That explains why you said <laughs> And that was why he had to. Okay, when we get there. <laughs> All right. And of course, Michael breaks down in tears in front of Jackie B. Why would you say it's white money? Come on. Ah. Okay. Sadly. But does the other person, you know, give in? To, because I know he said he has feelings for the other lady. And that wraps it all up on BB Niger updates. When we return, we'll be giving you spot news. Stick around. back from that short break thanks for joining us if you're just joining in you've missed our top stories and our bb niger updates but not to worry i'm here to give you the sports updates introduce you to our interesting topic and talk to you about our weird facts stay with us and of course if you're joining us online please ensure to click the link in the description below to give in your thoughts and also drop your questions or thoughts in the comment section so let's move on to the sports update olympic champion elaine thompson hera runs second fastest women 100 meter of all time congratulations elaine very good record. White misses Chelsea game after positive COVID test. We hope he recovers fully, gets vaccinated if he's not, and then doesn't transfer to other players. Manchester City to face Real Madrid in Women's Champions League qualifier. Well, the money is on the uh, Ghana signs new Man U deal, joins Forest on loan. Well, that's a good news for the United team. Lastly, Brits challenge for AIG Women's Open Win Live. All right, that's all on sports updates. And stick with us. We'll bring you our interesting topic for the day, which is how to generate passive income. Go on a short break and then we'll be right back.
Welcome back. You're still tuned to Hello Africa, and this is, you know, it's Monday, okay, where we bring you um, some kind of topics that tells you, you know what, you need to work hard because some people get really cranky when it's Monday. They feel, you know, uh, like it should be part of the weekend, okay, but we're telling you every second, every minute, every hour does count, and every day counts, okay, and we're talking passive income how to generate passive income what are the ways my name is nita and of course i'm doing the show with faith and bc Hi. <laughs> okay when you hear the word passive income what's the first thing that comes to mind well uh for me i feel it's legit income okay defined income something that just brings you um frequent income okay it's it's something that probably puts you on a payroll, mm -hmm. yeah, you you have this, you have like a, I, I wouldn't call it a nine to five. Mm -hmm. I'll just call it probably a business mm -hmm. or something that brings frequent flow of income. Awesome. Frequent flow of income. How about you? Well, for, uh, first of all, let me compliment what you said. I love how you started and you said legit income. Mm -hmm. Of I course, know, I know yeah, I yeah. yeah. Because we have certain people that would tell <laughs> yeah. you it's passive income yeah. and it's coming from a very, you know, For funny me, source. Passive income is money that I keep making. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, that, dude, I have time for myself. Mm -hmm. I have time to travel. I have time to eat what I want to eat. Mm -hmm. And then I'm still making money. Oh. You're still cashing out. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yes. Having multiple streams of income. Pandemic 2021. I mean, 2020, I beg your pardon, actually dealt with a whole lot of businesses. Some people lost their jobs. But just imagine you have different streams of, you know, making money. I mean, you won't be affected. You, you, will. you won't be affected in the sense that you can work from home and money is still coming to you. Okay, and yeah. that actually gave opportunity for many businesses to look outside the box. Okay. That okay, we can actually um, create an opportunity for people to even work, you know, out there. That's why you have uh, situations of people coming up with network marketing, the legit ones. We still have the legit ones. People are making money and cashing out. We know. In fact, if you talk about network marketing, okay, I, I have been on the receiving side with that look you're giving me because, well, well, yes, I, I am this person that, you know, I'm a risk taker, okay? When you give me or you introduce an opportunity, mm -hmm. I want to listen to you and right. say, okay, um, what's the way forward and stuff like that. And sometimes it might be good and sometimes, you know, the other thing happened. But at the end of the day, you don't give up completely because we still have the legit ones okay right. that are transforming lives of people mm. and making sure you know they enjoy what we're talking about passive income okay we'll be giving you some ideas okay we talked about the fact the pandemic is still ongoing we have some countries they are yet to you know open and all that stuff and they're still battling with the delta variant so we'll be giving you um some ideas of how to build wealth okay and generate passive income the first one says selling information products well content is a new crude of course so that's what's up if you're in the content space yeah. i mean if you're creating if content you will cash has, out exactly that has a certain uh, fan base or people who mm. listen to you that can be uh, number them yeah then you know that okay this is the amount of people that see your content on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. so you'd have access to brands that want to patronize you and absolutely. You know, so it's, it's a good way to get passive income. Okay, let's talk about the opportunity for selling information. Information products can deliver an excellent income stream because you make money easily after the initial at outline of time. Then it also has its risk, okay? And the risk says it takes a massive amount of, you know, effort to create products um, and to make good money from it. It has to be great. So whatever content you, you know, putting out there, make sure it's a great one. Okay, let's move on. And this one says... Rental income. Mm. Hmm. I at one time had to um, look at my business. I had a business, a petty business that I was doing at some point. And then I was looking at what I was making, my income, and how, how vast it was spreading. Mm -hmm. 
and then I wanted to I wanted to expand the business because I wanted more income. I mm -hmm. wanted to develop the income, and then the rate at which income was the income flow was mm -hmm. coming. So I I had to read through a couple of books, and okay. I realized that. Um, for more money to come, more money has to be put in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can only use money to make money. Okay. So the more you invest in what the the product is, mm. the more 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 revenue you generate from the product because you have actually invested. But once you feel a product doesn't need any investments, you probably just have a product. You don't make developments. You don't make um, an improvement on the products and there is no investment in funds if I was going to sell um, petrol and I keep I just I just build one station and I sell petrol in one station at some point one station might not be able to meet up my bills okay. or meet up the, the, the company's bills mm. I might have to have a couple of other branches and they must be at strategic points and all that and how do I go about that I have to look for income probably higher income or hire some funds and all of that generate some um, capital extra capital to see how I can make some extra okay income. the term when it comes to passive income when you're talking about rental income it yeah. can be your shit. You're renting it to a model that has a photo shoot and she okay. pays you or he pays you. Okay. okay. Or you have a big space in your apartment and one room is just there. Nothing is happening. And you have, you know, you, you have bills, basically. And you just decided, okay, you know what, I can share this space. Maybe just do something and still have your privacy. And you're gaining money from that, okay? It could be your shoes. It, could, it, it just has to do with you renting something to, you know, someone or somebody is, you know, hiring from you, okay? And paying you for that hiring. And at the end of the day, you know, you're getting money. Uh, what I was going to ask when you said rent out... Um, mm. You said rental mm -hmm. income. income. I was going to ask, are you saying real estate rentals or um, props rentals? But then I think Properties. I'm going to put yes. yeah. them. So in the event space, obviously, mm -hmm. in the event space, there are a lot of um, decorators, <coughs> yeah. the right decorator vendors who don't have these props to decorate your hall. So they go to other vendors who rent. Yeah. Is there, yes. Those vendors don't decorate, but they have the props. The centerpiece, the chandeliers, the... Um, Backdrop, the frames, the um, okay. sofa, mm -hmm. all of that. Even, even, the the even the red carpets. Even the red carpets. Or, carpets, you know, you know absolutely. So they spend a lot of money to buy these props. Yes. They store it in a warehouse. Do you understand? Okay. But then they, I think, if you give it, they give or take, depending on how much you <coughs> the customers. Within Excuse the year, me. Within six months, a year, two years, you would have generated your capital back. Mm -hmm. And then you now start making money. Because when they rent these things, you know, you calculate the logistics, the Mm -hmm. manpower to install and to tear down and yeah. the amount you're renting if, for example if you're renting um, um clear your chairs mm -hmm. you can go as high as uh, maybe 100 200 now, but yeah, there's so much renting, money and they're renting like a thousand two thousand pieces there's so much money from, yeah, yeah it's, i mean rental is, is very interesting it's interesting uh, way to generate income absolutely okay and this one says affiliate marketing this is when you're earning a commission for selling under that person's product. Products. Usually yeah. an online retailer. Yeah. And you know, many bloggers and podcasters use affiliate marketing mm -hmm. to add to their income streams. And there's no work involved on your end when you sell other people's products. Now that mm. there is no work, I don't think it's there's so much there's work so in much it work because, because you need to research when, the brand exactly. or whatever. Yeah. When you're doing affiliate marketing, like I said, it's mostly from an online retailer. Mm -hmm. And depending on your niche market, you'll be given a, a unique link. It's true that your unique link that you so how to put your unique link in front of as many people as possible to generate sales is where your work comes in. Leads because and they just all, give you a unique yeah. link and they use, because mm. you're going to be in a competition with other affiliate marketers and okay. even the online retailers themselves because they are still running ads yeah. on social media. Yeah. Yeah. So affiliate marketing is a way, especially if you are working, you know, on the go at home. Any other work you can do it by the side. It's just your mm. internet and it's a side hustle. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. That's the main purpose of, you know, mm -hmm. passive income is you working and you still have another means of generating, you okay. know, exactly. Okay, let's talk about its opportunity. When a visitor clicks on the link, like you mentioned, and makes a purchase of the third party affiliate, the site owner earns the commission. Yeah. 
so you have a site okay it's you could be a blogger and stuff yeah, like that said, yes yes link in front of but there are risks. There are different ways you could do that. There are risks, okay? Um, the risk mm -hmm. is if you're just starting out, you will have to take time to create content and build traffic. Okay, let's move on. Okay, this one says flip retail products, take advantage of online sales platforms such as eBay or Amazon, and sell products that you find at cut rate prices elsewhere. You'd, um, arbit you'd arbitrage the difference in your purchase and sale prices and may be able to build a following of individuals who track your deals. Okay, so... Um, this is sounding like dropshipping. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. take a look at it. It's, it sounds like drop. Yes, it yeah. does. So, yes, yes. You can shop and for it. Yes. And then you connect it with mm -hmm. your own buyer through your own website. Yes. Your own form. Yeah, so it's similar to affiliate marketing. It is. That you don't have a unique link. No, you don't have it's a unique link. It's just a better way of... Yeah, to your direct it's contacts that get in with, touch with you. Um, social media advertisements. For me, I feel you like there's so many people who can't really assess um, internet marketing and um, e-marketing. So people like this come in handy, handy okay. because they help you transact the business mm. easier. So if I, if I was going to buy something via eBay and I, I didn't know how to go about it, of course, someone standing in for me is just going to cost extra. So extra, you yeah. are making extra money for providing the service of mm -hmm. knowledge. But there are risks, okay? So whenever you're going to get yourself involved in that, just make sure these people are genuine. Do your background check before you go paying money. It's not even about that. We've had situations where you, you know, you ordered for something and when you pay the person because it's telling you it's not, you know, pay uh, before delivery, blah, 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 and all that. And once you pay, you discover that they block you completely. You don't have access to them. So do your diligence, you know, uh, do diligence, basically, background checks and the like. Okay, peer-to-peer -peer lending, okay, I, I talked um, about, yeah. Peer-to-peer -peer lending is what? Loan and so stuff like, like that, a yeah. Fund. Mm -hmm. yeah. You understand? Uh, select, let's say, 10 people, you know, contribute a thousand, hour, depending on how everyone can. Mm -hmm. And then every at the end of the contribution, like a contribution, day, yeah. yeah, a certain number of person gets a certain amount, and they pay. or that's one way, mm -hmm. like, say, like mutual fund, yeah. Or peer to peer, is there's a, um, a sort of group chat or a platform where people are. That are familiar with themselves, mm -hmm, can be just random strangers. Yeah. So we know that okay, this person and this person they build themselves a certain amount of yeah. money to understand that to pay certain, certain amount, time. Right? So it helps to at least the, when the loan comes in, you can use it to diversify. Yes. Invest, I mean. Some start videos. a business start a and business. stuff like that okay interesting the opportunity as a lender you can earn income via internet payments made on the loans but because the loan